The Indian pilots have started conducting joint flying and training missions with French pilots on Rafale fighter jets that are equipped with the new generation Talios laser targeting pod. The Talios combines targeting and tactical reconnaissance capabilities in a single pod, and it delivers superior image quality with the help of embedded artificial intelligence and infrared detectors, that provides combat pilots and ground forces with reliable situational awareness in real time. The Deputy Chief of the Indian Air Force Air Marshal Sandeep Singh has said that the Indian Air Force will soon approach the government for an agreement on the acceptance of necessity for the 114 MMRCA fighter jet program, after which the formal procurement process would begin, and the companies have to meet the newly released Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020, which includes transfer of higher levels of production technology and maximum use of indigenous systems and materials. He also said that the induction of AMCA is planned to begin by 2030, and the Air Force will achieve a total strength of 38 squadrons by that time. He also added that the OAX India program is progressing well, and the Air Force will also order more indigenous Netra airborne early warning aircraft, but the present financial crunch has made the Air Force rethink its acquisition plan for mid-air refuelers, and will go with the lease method. He also said that the Air Force is the lead service for the tri-service procurement case for 127 medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicles, and the Air Force will decide whether it will be under the Buy Indian category, or Buy Global and Make in India category of the procurement procedure. In a significant development, the private sector firm Dynamatic Technologies has handed over the first front fuselage assembly for the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Dynamatic Technologies had also handed over the Tejas main fuselage assembly in 2019, and the private sector firm will also supply the front fuselage assembly for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A program, and is already the front runner for various other upcoming programs like the medium weight fighter, twin engine deck based fighter, and the 5.5 generation AMCA. The indigenously developed 155mm 39 calibre Garud V2 ultralight howitzer has evoked good results in the ongoing developmental testing, which has been developed by Bharat Forge in technical collaboration with the Defence Research and Development Organisation. A total of 24 rounds have been tested till now, and a team of technical experts will review the findings to make further improvements, and make it ready for further testing. India has started receiving M777 ultralight howitzers from the US, but the production of indigenous ultralight howitzers will boost the strength in a cost-efficient manner. After the seventh test of the nearby system that is scheduled next month, the Indian Army and the Indian Navy will formally induct the indigenous system. The Indian Armed Forces did not wait for the formal induction, and have already deployed a limited number of these systems to the line of actual control. The solid fuel ducted ramjet technology that can be used for both air-to-air -air as well as long-range supersonic systems was successfully tested by the DRDO in 2018 and 2019, and a new class of cruise system is being developed that will have a solid rocket booster, along with supersonic speed using the SFDR technology. The Ordnance Factory Board has rejected the recent Indian Army report which mentioned 403 ammunition-related incidents over the last six years, and the loss of 960 crore rupees due to faulty ammunition that is equivalent to the price of 100 new howitzers. The Ordnance Factory has said that the incidents were caused due to multiple reasons, which includes poor maintenance of the platform, faulty testing drill, and unvalidated design changes in the testing platform. The Saras Mark II aircraft being developed by the National Aerospace Laboratories has progressed from the drawing and design stage to the construction of two structural test models, which will soon be followed up by two production standard aircraft by 2024. 
Unlike the pusher configuration of the Sarah's Mark I, the Mark II aircraft will feature a tractor configuration, and the new design also features an enhanced fuselage that has been optimized for takeoffs and landings from unprepared runways.